Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Chase of Rocky Mountain. Thank you for checking in. So check it out. Today we have the new cross bite tire from Tusk. So Tusk has a really good lineup of dirt bike tires to choose from. And the cross bite's the newest addition. And we actually designed this right here at Rocky Mountain. And who we built the cross bite for was for the rider looking for a good off-road multi-terrain tire that does well in a variety of conditions at a really good value. We all know that, look, dirt bike tires are not cheap. And we know a lot of riders, when they put these on, they want to get as much life out of these as possible. And in some cases, we see riders that we think are maybe trying to get a little bit too much life out of their tires. So we want to give you a good option that performs well, that's not going to break the bank so you can keep fresh tires on your dirt bike. I've spent a couple days on these myself. One day I was out in the desert, softer, loamier conditions, good moisture in the dirt. The other day, it was hard pack, loose soil on top, a lot of rocks. So I got a good feel of how these tires perform, and I'm telling you, for the price, you just can't beat it. It's a good all-around tire. So we'll start with the front tire, then we'll talk about the rear, and we'll just talk about some of the technology, some of the cool design features that went into these, again, just to help you decide if you want to pick up the cross bite. So first up, with the front, a couple key things here that I want to highlight. So you'll notice on the outermost knobs that you have these reinforcing bridges. So a couple reasons for those. When you're riding and you're really leaning that bike over, you're getting to the outer edge of the tire, these reinforcing bridges do a couple key things. One, it's just going to help make it to where these outer knobs aren't flexing too much. So that way you're going to have consistent cornering and good stability. But it's also just going to add to the durability. A lot of times if those knobs do have too much flex in them, you can start to see those knobs tear. And I'm going to tell you now, we did a lot of testing with these. We put these tires through the ringer, a lot of different conditions, just seeing what their limit was and the durability for these has been really good. So you've got those bridges there. Then you notice too that right here in the front, you've got these sipes cut into these center lugs. And then with those outer lugs, you notice that you have these indentations. And the purpose for those is just to give as many biting edges as possible. The more edges that you have contact in the ground, the more traction, the more grip you're going to get. And also with those indentations being on those outer knobs, what's great about that is that when you're really leaning that bike over, as those are contacting the ground, it's just going to allow the top of those knobs to flex just enough to help just give the best traction possible. So front tire for me, again, riding these in different conditions, I think it performed really well. It's a nice aggressive tread pattern, nice and spread out. So even if you find yourself in wet, sandy, muddy conditions, it's going to do a good job of self-cleaning. Then you move to the rear. So with the rear, it's got a lot of the same technology as the front. Again, you've got the sipes that are cut right down the middle, more biting edges. It's going to be great for forward drive, going to be great for braking. And then you look again, you've got the reinforcing bridges on the outside with those indentations on those outer lugs to give the same characteristic and the same benefits as what I just talked about with the front. Nice spread out tread pattern. You know, on the day that I rode in those softer, loamier conditions, there were a couple spots where it was the sand, you know, the dirt was pretty wet, and I really didn't notice any tire or any mud or anything like that packing into this tire. So that's been phenomenal. Now, as far as durability goes, like I said, we put in hours and hours and hours of testing with these, and we tried different durometers, trying to find a good blend of performance as well as durability. Very happy with how that turned out. Now, as far as the carcass goes, Good blend here, it does great with bump absorption, but it's not overly stiff to where it's gonna feel harsh or deflect off of obstacles. So this is the cross by tire. Again, if you're shopping for a good multi-terrain tire that is not gonna break the bank, the cross by is for you. Now, if you're more, say, a motocross rider looking for what we consider our performance tire, check out the MX T45, T35 tires. We also have the Recon, which is a hybrid tire, a soft gummy compound. So if you're a trails rider, single track, that's the one for you. And also, for you dual sport adventure riders, there's the Tusk D Sport as well. If you have questions or comments, we'd love to get those answered. And to grab yours today, a simple click on the link or head to RockyMountainATVMC.com. These tires right now, the cross is available with a 21-inch front and an 18-inch rear. As always, we want to hear your feedback, so make sure to leave that down below. We ship for free over 75 bucks. And if you want to stay up to date on videos like this, get subscribed to the Rocky Mountain YouTube channel. Hit that notification bell. You'll be good to go. I'm Chase, and we'll see you on the trails.